Hi everybody, I'm Mary Moran. Um, I'm from Marcellus, New York, just outside of Syracuse. Uh, I graduated um, with an undergraduate degree in business administration a while ago. Um, and for most of my life, I've worked for small and mid-sized corporations. When my kids were in school, I started my own small company, um, and we do niche marketing for uh, industrial safety products. Our original product is a solar lighting uh, um, illuminating uh, marker used in rail yards. Uh, it is a solar powered product manufactured in China, and so we have been significantly impacted by the tariffs, so tax policy is something I'm a little bit interested in right now. Uh, but mostly I think I'm interested in environmental policy and its intersection with human rights. And that comes about for two reasons. Um, I have, well, more than two, but two essential reasons. One, I have a daughter that's teaching English and biology in the Marshall Islands. Um, she's down there uh, working with tribal kids with no electricity, no internet, no running water. Um, but she's hoping to help because their island will be underwater soon and they will have to um, either relocate um, or there is some talk of trying to dredge the larger island and raise it up but in any event they're in for some pretty big adjustments and also when Hurricane Michael was approaching Florida I remember about a week or so before NPR had done a study that had looked and found that many Americans didn't have $400 to help them um, should an emergency arise. And so those two things really got me thinking um, that as climate change becomes more prevalent, many, many people are going to be significantly impacted. And so how we take care of people and how we deal with um, environmental impacts is something that I would really like to look into. Um, I know it's pretty broad, but yeah. Um, as far as the podcast goes, I have no experience implementing policy. I have just started a new part-time job in the workplace, and they had decided just before I got there to take people's um, waste baskets away from their personal workstations so that they could reduce their um, single-use plastic bag tossing away. And that policy met with tremendous resistance. And I found it really, really interesting. I thought that people might be excited to do something like that and found out that mm -mm, it was tough. Um, some people are, but some people are pretty upset about it. Um, change is tough, for sure. Um, and then also, I was very interested when she was talking about unintended consequences and the challenges that come with those. And that got me thinking a little bit about um, also not only just unintended consequences, but conflicting motivations. Sometimes I think people want to look at things in terms of good and evil, and they're often so much more complicated than that. And so I think social workers are in a really good position to offer insight into ideological divides. Um, and so I thought that was a pretty interesting piece. Also, in terms of controversy, I think other people have mentioned this as well, but. Um, you know, people tend to think if you are struggling, you're struggling because you just don't work hard enough or you might be lazy or blah, blah, blah. And obviously we know as social workers we don't necessarily agree with that. But also we have this tax policy that says if you earn extra income from uh, investments, you get taxed at a much lower rate than the person that goes out and earns extra income from uh, a second job. So those two contradictions, those types of contradictions are interesting to me. So anyway, I don't know. That's a little bit about where I'm at in terms of policy. I'm really looking forward to digging into this stuff with you guys, and I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.